Hey guys, it's Evan Mary 2 and welcome back to another Sims 4 build video. Uh, we are renovating a shipping container. This is going to be one of those videos that I do not know how to commentate because I did this build like two weeks ago and I am just now doing it. Um, so basically, I think this is the, um, what am I thinking? The starter home from Eco Lifestyle. So I wanted to make it better because it was so empty, like, like ridiculously empty. Like you do not understand how totally empty this build was and it was making me sad and I had to fix it. I had to fix it. I think the first thing I did was make it smaller because it's massive. And I don't know if you've ever tried to build a starter home in this game, but they usually are pretty small. Pretty small. Um, I think, don't quote me on this, I did it two weeks ago, but I think it's just eco lifestyle and base game. Usually when I do like restricted packs with myself, I tend to just do like one item or so that's not restricted. And usually it's something that doesn't matter. So if you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. Again, don't quote me on that. I don't know. Um, th this is not a format of build that I, I go for. Um, I, I quite frankly have no idea what I'm doing. Just, you know, doing some things. Just, just putzing around. So I kept the, the aesthetic. It, and this, this was not placing for me. It was being a total pain. I kept the same like shape. I just made it like a trash ton smaller. So also the trims look terrible. Did I put a trim on it? I think I did. I thought I did. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't remember. I don't know what aesthetic I was going for. I was going for um, affordable and eco lifestyle. So I guess industrial? Maybe? That sounds right. <laughs> eh, that sounds right. Ah, I'm doing like a floor trim. But did I do a bottom floor trim? Maybe? Oh, just kidding. I decided that was too expensive. <laughs> I also kept this front door. I don't know why. They had this door. Or did I put this door down? Like the entrance is like on the side. And like I didn't like it. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say like in the same video. But we'll see. We'll see. Keep tally for me. Yeah. I think I'm just going eco lifestyle. I did not know what to do with any of these windows. I was like how do you use these? How do you use these? So I use the basic flat ones, of course, and then I use these like windowsill ones because guys, I am not creative enough, at least not in the industrial style, to know what in heaven's name to do with these windows. Uh, I will move them down eventually though because I do put a bathroom up here because I, I, I low-key forgot about a bathroom. <laughs> I, I, I really did. I really, really did. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Is that the whole bathroom? I think it is. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for this atrocity that is the bathroom in this build. It's really depressing. I, we don't have any toddlers moving in here. Um, I hope not because it's one bedroom. <laughs> you won't have a place to sleep them. That can't be. Get out of here. You're kidding. No way. Please tell me I make that bigger. This is ridiculous. Also, this is going to be the shortest video I have uploaded in a long time. A long time. Um, yeah. So, funny story. I was going to play Paleo today. I know everybody hates it and nobody watches it and I don't care because I'm having a good time. I was gonna upload Palea and then I was I updated the game and it was like, hey, there's there's an error. We need this visual thing for it to work and I couldn't 
play that and now I'm sad and I don't know what to do. I am not a very techie person. Look at that. I got a, a human. I got a, a human to test things. Oh, the pink. The pink is so cool. It's like some weird combination of <laughs> log cabin and industrial. <laughs> That's probably wallpaper, let's be honest. Or like some kind of simple paneling. Also, I'm not going to be one of those people that's like, oh, I can't fit a double bed. Oh, okay, guys, I'm an adult and I sleep in a twin bed. If y'all are requiring that adults sleep in a double bed or it's, it's game over, life just isn't worth living, your priorities are messed up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> messed up. Also, you are extremely blessed. If you have the space and can afford a double bed. So if you have a double bed, I want you to get on your knees right now and thank the one who provided that double bed for you. Because not everyone has a double bed. And it's not a requirement for a happy and fulfilling life. So say your prayers. Say thank you to Jesus for his provision. And we'll move on. Great. Um, I have trouble mixing wood tones. I've discovered this thing about myself. I don't really like light wood floors. It's got to be in the right context. I don't hate this because of the, the, the tones in the wall kind of match the floor, but it's not my favorite. Light wood floors are not my favorite thing ever. I like the color of these counters is like one of my favorite wood tones. It's really pretty, like a warm mid-tone. Mm. Yep, that's what I like. That's what I like. And I made the bar stools blue because the door is blue and I thought it kind of kind of tied in. Kind of tied in nicely. And yeah, I don't love, love the sofas in this game. I don't love them. Eco lifestyle, I don't think is my personal aesthetic, which is fine, which is fine. I am a, I'm a log cabin, cottage, rancher, you know, I'm in that realm of appreciation for things. Um, the table is also kind of smunchy. I also sized down the coffee table. Do I keep that one? So, funny thing, when you size down coffee tables, you can't put anything on them because, um, it will, like, float at the level that the coffee table would be at if you didn't size it down. Well, I made it bigger. I was like, we need some decoration in this place. I'm pretty sure they can get through that door. I did put the sim in here to kind of test some things, mostly to make sure she could get under the staircase, and she can. Very exciting. Arguably not the best use of the space, putting the stairs right in the middle. But also, I didn't want a ladder. I feel like having a, a just a ladder in builds that people are going to live in, it drives me crazy for some reason. I don't know. Because I think about if I were living there, and if literally I, I only had the option to climb the ladder to get to my second story, it, it would drive me crazy. So let's all get on our knees right now and thank Jesus that we have stairs. <laughs> it makes life so much easier. So much easier. I do like, pardon me. I do like a lot of like the wall decorations. The plants in this game are, are nice. There's a few super nice pieces in this pack. I do like the build in this pack, but I think I like the buy mode in this pack better than the build mode. I'm, I'm second guessing myself. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I went with that one because it looks like they painted it. I feel like the person here that lives here is a DIYer. DIYer. That doesn't sound good. I want to... Oh, I should make a sim for this house. Wait. Somebody get me a pad of paper. I need to write this down. I'm writing this down. 
I don't have my cork board anymore. I don't have anywhere to put up my stuff. My ideas. I'm writing down a video idea. Give me a sec. Watch my my sad attempt at a bedroom while I do this. Do, do, do. All right, written down. Will I remember? Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. Tune in next week to see the thrilling conclusion of what does the sim who lives here look like? Uh, I'm not guaranteeing it's going to be next week, but maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We shall see. I don't know. I thought this bedroom was cute. Put some, like, green and yellow accents. Is it cohesive in terms of color scheme? Mm, no. No. So, like, the blue shipping container is, like, pink and blue. Super cute. My faves. And then this, the red shipping container is, like, a green and yellow. Also cute. And the top one is, like, a, I think it's, like, a gray-blue. So, kind of. I mean, it's, it's what it is. Look, I have fun with these things. Also, there's a gap under the stairs and it's fine. <laughs> if this was real life, you could store stuff there. You can in The Sims. It wouldn't be functional. But. It's fine. I also am not one of those people who makes really cluttered builds. Because, quite frankly, I just don't have that kind of time. I don't want to have that kind of time. I, I get bored. I'm also one of those artists who, like, never finishes a piece because I get bored and move on to the next one. <laughs> That's not true. Not never. Not as often as I would like. Because I get bored. And things. I also utilized this windowsill as best I could to sit the flowers because y'all know if I had windowsills like that, I would use them. They would have stuff in them. Not like in an ugly way, but like, I don't know, in a cute way. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but we're going to go with it. Yeah. So this is just base game and eco lifestyle. So if you have eco lifestyle, you can download this build. I will try and remember to get it up on the gallery. Uh, I will definitely forget. I don't know if I put my sims from the last video up. Ah, uh, I gotta do that. I feel like I just forget until I go and do, like, the an overhaul of, oh, and of all the sims I made in the last six months that I haven't put up on the gallery. Because I think someone even left a comment, like, hey, are they on the gallery? And I was like, mm, probably not. Let's hop into some screenshots and show you the before and the after. Apparently, I didn't record the bathroom. Oh well. Um, anyhow, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your comments, feedback, and suggestions in the comments down below. And I will speak to you all in the next video. So, have a merry two.